Well, God's word protects us, almost like, like a barrier against a lot of the things in this world, against spiritual temptations, against enticements. God's word becomes that light that shines in dark places so we can actually see where we're going and not stumble and fall into the lures and the traps of the enemy. Listen to these words from Proverbs chapter 6, beginning of verse 23. For this command is a lamp. This teaching, God's word, is a light. And correction and instruction are the way to life. Keeping you from your neighbor's wife, from the smooth talk of a wayward woman. Do not lust in your heart after her beauty or let her captivate you with her eyes. Here, uh, the writer of Proverbs is going to address the particular enticement and temptation of, of sexual enticements, which are massive in our world right now and more accessible than ever. But in every way, the Word of God shines like a light. So here's a couple of things just to understand when you think about the Bible and the, it's the importance of having it in your mind and in your heart. First, that God's Word illuminates dark places. There's lots of darkness in this world. If you want to see where you're going with clarity, get the Word of God in your mind and in your heart. When we read it, it turns on a light. It, it helps us see where we're going. So again, consistent reading of Scripture illuminates your eyes, your heart, and allows you to see where you're going. It helps you find correction. If you're humble to listen and learn, if we'll pay attention to God's Word, it'll correct us and set us on the, on the right path. And also, God's Word helps us recognize the enticements that are out there. Here it's talking about sexual enticements. And again, our culture is manufacturing all kinds of creative new ways to pass on that same old message, that same old enticement, but lots of ways with a click, 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 and it, it, not hard to find, and those enticements are there. And so here's the imagery I want you to have in your mind today as you think about God's Word. Uh, when I go to bed at night, oftentimes if I'm going to read in bed, my wife is sleeping already, and if I'm going to lay in bed with her, I wear this little headlamp. And this little headlamp, and I'm not going to blind myself with it, but it shines a bright light. And, uh, and when I do that, I can aim it right where I'm looking, and in the darkness, all of a sudden, I can see what I'm looking for. That's what God wants for you. Here's my encouragement today. Open the Bible, God's Word. Read it each and every day. It's even okay to read the Bible more than once a day. Keep putting it in your mind. Keep filling your heart, and let it illuminate your path so you can walk where God calls you to walk. Will you join me in prayer? Living God, thank you for your Word. Thank you for the light that you shine. We pray that we would be people who take that seriously and fill ourselves with the light of truth so that as we walk through this dark world, not only can we see the way to go, but we can shine the light for others as well. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, I hope you're part of a Christian community somewhere. If you're part of Shoreline Church, we'll have services this Sunday at 9 and 11 on campus and online. If you're part of another congregation, God's blessings on you. Make a commitment to be part of the family of God this coming Sunday. Enjoy the rest of your week.